These pack rats are actually kind of cute. They remind me more of squirrels than rats. Today for Mousetrap Monday, I'm excited to show you what may be the world's most fascinating high-tech mouse and rat trap combo that I've ever seen. What I have here is a very early prototype of a trap that was invented by a YouTube viewer named Bob. And he calls this crazy invention the yet another world's best mouse trap, also known as you have mail. That way you know when you catch a mouse or rat when the flag is up. What it is is a bucket style mouse trap with a false floor, there's a plastic tunnel, and inside there's a set of infrared sensors at different heights, one at mouse height and the other for rats. That way you can select what you want to catch. You won't mix species. If a mouse comes first, it will only trigger the mouse sensor and you'll only catch mice. And if a rat comes first, then you'll only catch rats, but not both. It has lithium batteries, a microprocessor, electromagnetics, and with those infrared sensors, this thing is amazing. What makes it even more fascinating is it's held close to that floor right there with a powerful magnet. That way it doesn't move at all. The mouse or rat feels completely secure. But when it crosses the infrared sensor, an electromagnet with opposite polar activates for a second and pushes down the floor much faster than gravity. The mouse or rat will fall down, then it will reset. And it's ready for the next victim of the same species. I'll turn this around. Here's the on off switch. We'll turn it to trap. Here's a test mouse and also one for the rat. We'll start with just the mouse. Say they enter, we'll do it upside down. See how that dropped down and the flag went up. That was great. I don't want to test it out too much. I don't want to burn out the motors. So what we're going to do is mount it to a bucket, test it out once with our pet mice, then we're going to set it up and see if we can catch only mice or only rats. Okay, as we set this up on the bucket, I don't want our pet mice to get hurt when they drop down. I'll give them a soft landing. We place the trap right there and there's a clips to lock it in place. It's very secure. We'll turn the trap on and go get a pet mouse. Okay, go in there and cross that infrared sensor. The flag is up, that mouse dropped down. This trap worked perfectly. We're gonna go set it up in the barn, see if a mouse comes in first or a rat, then we're gonna catch only that species. Now I wanna see what's happening, so I'm gonna attach this to our setup on the fish tank. That way when a mouse or rat drops down, they'll have food and water. Let's go set up the motion cameras and see what happens.
Well, last night the You Have Mail prototype trap didn't catch that huge squirrel or the large rats, but we did catch three young pack rats. There's babies in here. Last night they ate the food and ran on the wheel. Now these are native species and they can be kind of destructive inside buildings, but I caught these in a remote shed and I'm not too worried about them being in there. So I'm gonna leave them with their mother. I'm gonna release them here in the shed. They showed us that the trap works on smaller rats. I'm gonna relocate them when they get larger and are more independent from their mother. So we'll take them out of the exercise wheel and set them free. These pack rats are actually kind of cute. They remind me more of squirrels than rats. Okay, baby pack rats, you can go back to your mother. There's one. They have that white belly there. Two. If I let these go in the wild, a hawk would get them. They would be goners. Well, it was a lot of fun testing out the yet another best mousetrap prototype, also known as You Have Mail. Clearly, it's an amazing mouse catching machine. It needs a few improvements to catch rats. I've been talking with the inventor and he has some ideas to make this even better. I love it when YouTube viewers invent the best mousetrap designs and send me the very first working model. This is truly a great invention. It's pretty technical with the electronics, but clearly it's a great start. When the mouse enters, that floor drops and then it resets. It's pretty much foolproof. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sure the inventor is gonna be improving this and stay tuned for a part two. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. Now some people might be asking what I did with all those mice. I showed the rats running away, but not the mice. Well, that's how I'm gonna end the video. Those were deer mice and native species, so I took them out in the wild and set them free. 